Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another edition of uh, Key Spear Reviews. Um, it's uh, Sunday afternoon, just put some uh, ribs on the smoker. Um, they're going to have to go two or three hours. They're on low and slow like you want to do barbecue. So, got some onions and potatoes to throw on later. Um, they don't take as long. So, I'm going to do a beer I've had on numerous occasions. One of my favorites. Um, I'm going to do the, and I'm surprised I haven't reviewed this before, but I'm going to do the Saison uh, DuPont. Um, it's uh, 6.5% uh, farmhouse ale. Um, it says, uh, this is from their website. It's, uh, it's not Google Translate, but uh, there's some strangeness in here anyway. It sometimes happens with Google Translate, but the Cezanne DuPont is a top fermentation beer with re-fermentation in the bottle. Since 1844, this beer has been brewed in our farm brewery during the winter time. Then this beer became a second re-fermentation in the barrel. During the next summer, the, this very first quenching beer was served to Cezanneurs, which were working in the fields. Surely, therefore, our Cezanne DuPont is considered as the classic among the Belgian seasoned beers. Coppery Blonde, the finest aromas, and a strong bitterness transform this beer into a thirst quencher, quench, quenchener, quenchener with no equal, just the way it was created. Our selection of yeast is a perfect base for these typical aromas and ditto taste. Um, a real fermentation, re, a real re-fermentation in the bottle, which will continue for a long time in your cellar, result into this complex and particularly particular aromatic beer. Kind of strange. Um, their English probably isn't. Well, at least it's it's it makes as much sense as Google Translate sometimes. So let me get this uh, Cezanne Dupont. I bought two bottles, not on purpose, but uh, I bought bought two, forgetting I bought one already. I got this one's got a cap on it, so I'll, I'll review this one. The other one's got the smaller bottle with the cork, so. Let me uh, get it in a glass anyway and see what we have. I don't have a Saison DuPont cap. That's not really a Saison DuPont. It says DuPont Terps. T-O-U-R-P-S. That's where it's brewed apparently. Now I remember you got to go really slow with these because again, this is my last couple. This gets some serious head on it. Well, that's not good. Wasted a little bit. It's on the picnic table here. But what I can see at the bottom is a nice yellowish straw colored beer, bunch of carbonation streaming up. Um, got a good four fingers of a slightly off white, really foamy head. But it's a nice looking Saison. Now, like I said, I've had this numerous occasions. This is pretty much my standard for saisons so let me get a nose on this and see how this you know I've never had this out of a bottle with a cap in it I've always had it out of the corked bottle so let's see if there's any difference here okay, I'm getting citrus hay definitely uh, like lemon getting that freshly cut uh, uh, grass aroma it's a little yeasty, definitely a little musty, fruity, nice, nice smelling, uh, nice smelling uh, farmhouse ale. So let me give it a taste and see what we have. Somewhere down there, there's some liquid through all this head. Definitely getting those. Um, Yeasty notes right up front, some citrus, grassy notes. Again, it's musty. Uh, slight bitterness on the finish. Starts out kind of sweet, then kind of gets a slight bitterness. Not what I'd call a sour or anything like that, but it's got a slight bitterness on the finish. There's some herbal notes on the on the uh, on the uh, taste that I didn't really get on the aroma, but you're definitely getting those. Uh, uh, the citrus and uh, citrus and grass grass flavors right up front. There's a lot going on here, so let me get the rest of this back in the 
or get to rest this in the glass and we come back and uh, after a while and give you my final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's only been 10 minutes or so. Uh, uh, head's gone down a little bit. Well, quite a bit actually. Um, leaving nice lacing all the way down the glass. Uh, managed to get it all in the bottle. Let me get the bottle because I need to show that. I stuck it back in my cooler even though it's empty. Um, anyway, as I've noticed, as this warmed up somewhat. It's not warm, um, but it's still not refrigerator temperature. I noticed um, there's a there's a fruitiness that, that appears um, a little bit later in the, in the taste. Um, pear, apple, a little bit of uh, like citrus citrus rind, citrus peel. But you get you get your some herbal notes up front now. Got a really smooth grassy feel on the palate, and nice little bitterness on the tongue. Um, it's got a lemonish sort of spicy character to, to the bitterness, and then that that that, that sweetness um, kicks in, lingers in the in the palate um, in the aftertaste just a bit. Your 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 pears, apples, that sort of thing, um, but. It, it's not not cloyingly sweet. It's just a nice sweetness, but it just does linger a bit. But this is a this is a stellar beer. This is not. This is probably one of my favorite saisons. Um, like I said, it's my standard for for saisons. It's probably not the perfect saison, but be that as it may, I'm going to give the saison uh, Dupont from Vielle Provision, whatever that means. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Good solid beer. Um, nice, refreshing, warm weather beer. It's about 80 degrees today. Uh, cooled off a little bit from yesterday. so um, It's clouding up. I hope it doesn't, uh, doesn't cloud up too much. I really want to see that, that uh, annular uh, eclipse this, this, this evening. Um, haven't seen one in quite a while. Of course, it's not going to be nearly as, as impressive here. As it will be, but if you're in the Northwest, Oregon, Washington, down through Arizona into Texas, you're going to get a good view of it. So um, be sure and go out and check it out. But uh, the Cezanne Dupont for me gets 9.5 out of 10. Till next time, everybody, cheers. Keep drinking good beer.